What's going on guys? All right, making a video here real quick for you. Uh, this is for Super Nintendo running on your PS Vita on uh, official firmware 3.60 running the Ken or excuse me, Henkaku exploit uh, after installing Molecular Shell or Vita Shell. Uh, just by the way, you can only install Vita Shell after you've installed Molecular Shell. So uh, Molecular Shell is just an FTP client. Uh, so what we're going to do is I have my ROM right here that I'm going to be using in this video for an example. And here is the package file that I'm going to have the link for download right above the description. So if you're using Molecular Shell, what you're going to be doing is you're going to be selecting your um, server location, your FTP client, and you're going to locate the UXO folder. Uh, if you open that up, you're going to scroll down till you find the Vita Shell folder, and then this is where we're going to drop the VPK. Uh, if you're not using Molecular Shell and you're using uh, Vita Shell, all you're going to do is simply hit Shell and activate a USB connection, and you will find the Vita Shell folder. Double click on that and open that up. And that's where you're going to drop the VPK. As you can see, I've already dropped the VPK in here, and we're good to go. Now, for ROMs, what you're going to do uh, for um, the ROMs that are going to be used with this emulating program uh, running the exploit is for Vita Shell. We're going to go backwards now. In Vita Shell, you're going to locate your data folder. And if you haven't got one already, uh, which you can have one made automatically when you install the application on your Vita. So if you don't feel comfortable doing this, then exit USB mode, install the application, and let it make this root folder. If not, you can write it right here. It's going to be a capital S, lowercase NES, number 9, lowercase x, all capital Vita. Again, that's capital S, uh, lowercase NES, 9, lowercase x, capital V-I-T-A, and you're just going to make that new folder, and open that up, and that's where, where you're going to drop your ROMs. Also, your save states and your save data is going to go in this folder as well, as well as the configuration settings for the emulator itself. So, uh, without further ado, so now I already have my uh, ROM file here. We're going to hop over to the Vita, and we're going to go over the installation of this um, emulator. All right, so here we are at the Vita. I'm still in my USB mode using my Vita shell, so I'm just going to cancel that right now, and my program is just going to flash real quick, and we are in Vita shell uh, version 1.51. Now, you can also do this on the molecular shell as well, uh, but it's going to be the same thing. So basically, what you're going to do is when you open up your shell, uh, I'm just going to go real quick here to um, do, 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 the actual root. So let me just get to the root real quick. What you're gonna do is you're gonna open your Vita shell or your molecular shell and you're gonna select the UX0 colon root, which is gonna be your memory stick. Okay, so we're gonna select the memory stick there and then you're gonna scroll down to that Vita shell folder for where we put the VPK file, open that up, and you're going to see your SNES 9X Vita VPK. What you're going to do is just simply hit X on that. It will ask you, do you want to install this package? You're going to hit X for yes. Then it's going to ask for a confirmation and hit X one more time. I've already have this installed, so we're good to go. Also, just to double check real quick with everybody that has installed, once you install this, it's going to create this folder automatically in your data folder on the UXO root. If you open up the data folder like so, you will see the SNES 9X Vita slash. You just open up this folder here, and this is where your ROMs are going to go, and also your uh, configuration. So as you can see, I got my ROM right there, the 2.5 megabytes, and uh, that's that. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to simply exit this, and this is what your application logo is going to look like. It's just going to say SNES 9X Vita, and it's going to be a blank bubble pretty lame uh so i actually kind of want to work on having a thumbnail for that so uh i might actually uh test out a couple of things and modify the download file uh in a couple of weeks just so there's a picture there because it annoys me but so i'm just going to click on that and start it up and you're going to pop to this screen 
Now, this is how you're going to want to have this set up. So just hit L or R to change the tabs. Uh, you have your game selection, which is selecting that um, that game file that we put in. So there's the ROMs right there. As you can see, UX0 slash data slash SNES 9X Vita. Uh, so what you want to do right here is I'm going to go to options. Now, the screen size is going to be the actual size, uh, which is pretty shitty. So just change it to 16.9 scale to fit screen and hit X. Now, screen smoothing, you can have this disabled because it really doesn't do anything. Make sure your sound is disabled. Frame lim limiter disabled. Frame skipping, no skipping. Uh, V-Sync enabled. Uh, I really don't know what the hell that is. I have to look that up, actually. That's a new thing for the simulation program. Now, PSP clock frequency. It's going off the PSP clock. Now, it actually started, it runs at 333 megahertz, but it's kind of choppy, so I kind of just boost it to the 444 megahertz of the overclock for the Vita, and it works perfectly fine there, and it actually works better. Uh, because this is actually just like a beta version of this emulator and nobody's done anything with it. And that's pretty much it. So just make sure you have your 16 point or 16 colon 9 scaled fit screen and your PSP clock frequency set to 444 megahertz. So that way it runs as smoothly as possible. Once that is done, you can go to the game and we're just going to select the ROM real quick. And it's going to load the game, and there you go. So that's the emulation of Super Nintendo. And all the controls are pretty much basic controls, just like we had with the PSP emulation. And let's see. So... There you go. And now you have Super Nintendo running on your PS Vita, running official firmware 3.60 with the Henkaku exploit using Vita Shell to install the applications. So, rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll be back with more emulation videos and homebrew videos, and we'll be good to go. So, I'll talk to you guys later, hope you guys enjoy, and yeah, I'll be back with more material later.